Father Pellegrino Inetti greeted Father Brun one afternoon in the early 1960s. The two men had just met for the first time the day before during a ferry ride across Venice's Grand Canal. During their short conversation, Father Inetti had said something that stuck in Father Brun's mind. The two, who were both experts on ancient languages, were talking about scriptural interpretation when Father Inetti remarked there existed a machine that could answer all their questions. Father Broom was puzzled about what kind of a machine could do such a thing, and resolved to bring it up again with Father Inetti in the day's meeting. When asked about it, Father Inetti described a device he called a chronovisor, that looked a bit like a television. Instead of receiving broadcasts from local transmission stations, the chronovisor could tune into the past to allow the viewer to see and hear events that had occurred years or even centuries earlier. Father Anetti told Brune that the machine worked by detecting all sights and sounds that humanity had made that still floats through space. Father Brune wanted to know if Father Anetti and his collaborators had been able to see the crucifixion of Christ. Anetti replied, We saw everything. What Father Anetti was describing to Brune was a type of time machine. However, it's unlike the fictional devices found in most popular books, TV shows, and movies that transport people into the future or past. This type of machine would bring pictures and sounds from the past into the present. Time machines that transport people seem far beyond anything our technology can currently build. But what about a device that deals with images and sounds? To a certain degree, we actually use versions of chronovisors every day. A security camera hooked to a video recorder allows us to see into the past. Large telescopes also act as chronovisors. The distant galaxies we view through these devices do not actually look like they are today, but as they appeared when the light left them millions or perhaps billions of years ago. A piece of evidence that Father Inetti released was a picture of Christ's face on the cross, apparently photographed through the chronovisor. The photo shows the face of a bearded man with upturned eyes. However, it wasn't long before someone noticed that the picture was identical to one sold at the Sanctuary of Merciful Love in Italy. After this revelation, Father Inetti said little more about the photograph and the chronovisor. He died in 1994. Shortly before his death in 1994 in an interview with the magazine Masala, Father Inetti reported that everything is over. Another photo he claimed to have taken was this one, but as some have pointed out, it shares an uncanny resemblance to a painting. So do you think the chronovisor even existed? Let me know your theories in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.